Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video talking about the latest changes in Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, which is the latest software update uh, for devices, specifically the Nexus devices, Nexus 4, Nexus 10, Nexus 7, Galaxy Nexus, that have received the 4.2.2 update. We can quickly go ahead and go into settings. You'll see about phone AM on 4.2.2 right there on my Nexus 4. I uh, just wanted to quick talk about the change log and kind of things that are a little bit different. First of all, one of the main things is that uh, when you install a, an application from the Play Store, you will see that it has an estimated amount of time remaining. Uh, right now I'm downloading this dash clock widget and you'll see it says two minutes left. Um, what it does is it calculates the speed of in-progress downloads and estimates the time remaining until it is done. There also have been some changes to those quick panel toggles that you guys know all about, when you, whether you wanted to use two fingers to get straight to them or press that little icon right there. Uh, some goofy changes in my opinion actually. Um, one of them being that if you press and hold on the Wi-Fi icon or the Bluetooth icon, then it's going to toggle them on and off. So if I quickly held the Bluetooth off and it turns Bluetooth on, if I hold it down, but if I tap on it, it's going to take me into those Bluetooth settings. So I don't have any idea why Google did it make it where if you tap it, it turns it on and off, and if you press and hold it, it goes into those settings. That makes no sense to me, especially considering if I tap on airplane mode, then it's going to turn airplane mode on. I don't have to press and hold it to toggle it. Uh, so it's very confusing considering Wi-Fi. If I press and hold it, it would turn it on and off just like Bluetooth as well. And then emergency calls, pressing and holding it, or emergency calls, your, your signal strength and data speeds, pressing and holding it doesn't do anything. However, you can tap it and go into your data usage or whatever uh, setting you have. And same with these other ones, pressing and holding them does absolutely nothing. The only ones that pressing and holding um, edits is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So Google, I don't know what you were thinking there. I highly recommend changing it to where you just tap it and it turns them on and off and pressing and holding takes you into settings. And the last and final main difference in 4.2.2 is a couple sound changes with having to do with charging actually. If you are wireless charging it's going to make this sound right here. It'll come out of my laptop. Once more. So that's a new sound if you are wireless charging. Also, I don't know if you guys uh, know about this, but when you have a low battery, the low battery notification pops on. It has that really annoying sound uh, that comes on. They've actually changed it now, so I don't know if you've ever been charging your phone when it's at like 5% and you unplug it. It makes that noise saying, oh, oh no, um, we are still below 15% or whatever the notification is. But uh, that noise was very annoying, but they've changed that now in 4.2.2 to this sound. So much better, hopefully that camera picked up those noises, if not I'll just edit them in, not a big deal. So there you have it, those are just the main changes in 4.2.2, you get a, maybe some bug fixes here and there, very small ones, but those are the uh, three main things. Uh, again Google, hopefully you can look into fixing those, I know uh, some people are definitely going to get confused having you remember which ones I long press, which ones I just tap on. But that's it, uh, hopefully this video helps out, be sure to leave a comment, uh, let me know what you think about the 4.2.2 update, if you guys have found any changes at all. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.